Good morning, uh, Chapel Hill. It's good to be with you this morning. We're going to do another devotional. Look at the Word of God together. This morning we'll be looking at Philippians chapter 4. If you want to turn there in your Bibles, maybe you have your cup of coffee. Maybe you don't like coffee. Maybe I don't know what you drink in the morning. Some of you drink Mountain Dew. I don't know, but I'll drink this coffee and you have whatever you'd like. And um, I encourage us, that especially when we read together, and pray together that um, we agree with each other uh, on these prayer requests. This is true of, of the devotionals and on the Sunday morning services as well. Uh, I really don't want this to be one guy pre praying and a bunch of people listening or just kind of watching on TV. Um, it's a We have a marvelous potentiality if we can pray together and those prayers, uh, whenever people watch these devotionals, those prayers get repeated over and over and over again throughout the day. So picture in your mind as we pray that you have brothers and sisters who are watching this uh, this clip and faithfully praying and, and asking God for his graces on these things. Um, once again, uh, we talked about uh, the uh, prayer requests in the parking lot. Hopefully some of us were taking advantage of, of putting our uh, uh, prayer requests in, in the slot in the, in the prayer box in the parking lot. Um, we will be checking that box regularly. This morning I also wanted to... Uh, talk a little bit about the, um, uh, there's, there's been some people calling me and asking if there are some in the congregation who would like to have stuff delivered to their house. Um, maybe for one reason or other, you can't get out. Maybe um, whether we're, we're there sh there's, uh, some, of, some of us are homebound for one reason or another. And so the uh, people are calling in and, and I, I, would, I told them I would mention that on, on these uh, on these clips, that uh, uh, what what I'd like to do is if we can, um, if someone, if one of you has a need uh, to have maybe food or medicine delivered to your house, then if you contact me on my cell phone or email, um, we will make sure we get it to you. And also, if you want to call my cell phone to say, I want to be on the list of people who deliver, um, then you, we can do that as well. But I'll give you my cell phone number. It's 859-333-6919, probably through Facebook or the, or the website that will be posted along with these clips. But it's 859-333-6919. <clears throat> and uh, uh, my uh, email address is pastormike uh, at ch dot, uh, chchurch.org. So it's Pastor Mike, P-A-S-T-O-R-M-I-K-E, at chchurch.org so chapelhillchurch.org so if you'd send uh, your communications uh, through those uh, those uh, uh, those methods um, I will get the information and we'll get back with you for sure um, this morning again we're, we're looking at uh, at the issue of peace the topic of peace um, I mentioned uh, the other uh, the other day, the other time we were together we uh, um, looked at uh, an Old Testament passage uh, where the prophet Isaiah said that God's peace given to us is a perfect peace. Uh, you, thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. And that was the passage we, we focused on this morning. We're going to go to a New Testament passage, kind of a picture for us that the peace of God is both, is both an Old and New Testament concept, that he gives us his peace. Um, so, uh, Philippians is a passage of scripture. Uh, this passage I'm going to read to you. <clears throat> Is actually one that I memorized. Um, I, uh, you know, I, I've got it in the Bible in front of me, but at the same time, <clears throat> this is something I've got in my heart because at, at, a, at a time of my early Christianity, when I was a young Christian, um, there was a, a tum I was going through a tumultuous time, and you know, in, in youth, there's a lot of ups and downs and a lot of drama and those kind of things, and I was going through those those hills and valleys, and <clears throat> and God. Uh, through speaking to my heart, challenged me to memorize his word. Uh, and basically there's a truth that if your word, if you hide his word in your heart, memorize it, get it in your heart, then there is a peace and there is a, uh, a sense of security and safety that comes from knowing the truth in your heart. And so God challenged me to memorize it. And one of the passages I decided to memorize in those times was when uh, it was from Philippians uh, chapter 4, and it's verse, uh, verses 6 to 7, if you want to follow along in your Bibles. Um, uh, this, uh, this is the New American Standard Version. 
I, I memorized uh, uh, the New American Standard Version. The NIV is just a little bit different. But the NASB uh, says, uh, basically, it, it says, let's see, be anxious. Okay, that's the next page. So, so Paul says, be anxious for nothing. Be anxious. Don't worry about anything. Jesus, uh, Paul says, don't worry about anything. Uh, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And um, that's the ver those are the verses that I memorized. And I memorized them because it had a, a profound promise. And, and, and it's one of those <clears throat> passages of Scripture where it says, if you do the if, then you get the then. If you do the if, then you get the then. And so Paul says, basically, if you do these three things, if you, uh, don't, be, don't, don't worry about anything, but if you, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. So those three things, prayer, supplication, thanksgiving. Uh, prayer is just obviously just going to God and communing with God. Supplication is making request to God. And um, thanksgiving is obviously giving thanks for the things that you receive. And Paul kind of bunches that together. He says, go to God in prayer, make your request based on the stress, or the turmoil that you're going through, and immediately go to a time of thanksgiving, knowing, believing that God will bring you the answer. And so I've, I've used the, uh, those three things as a pattern for my life when I'm stressed out about anything. Um, and I've got a lack of peace and there's frustration. Then I will go to God with a, with, in prayer. I'll make a request of him and I will give thanks, get, uh, thanksgiving. And then the promise is this, that uh, regardless of the situation, regardless of what the stressor is in your in your life our lives the promise is that God, uh, god's peace will somehow when we do that will descend upon us and he'll take it from there as far as uh, protecting us he will protect our hearts in christ jesus with his peace and that is a great promise for us today we can we can pray about the situation that we're uh, going through we can make requests for protection we can give thanks for God, for God and His sovereignty that He's going to take overwhelm and take care of us in all this situation. Um, and then when we do that, and our, even as, as fearful and as, as uh, uncertain as the times we live in are, uh, there comes a peace, and this peace will carry us. And so, once again, even as I prayed before, my prayer for you is that uh, God's peace will take care of you in this time. And... Uh, so let me, let me pray for you this morning. Father, we just uh, bow our heads over your word, and we thank you for your word. We thank you for the promises. These, I, I believe your word is almost mechanical in the way that you have set it out before us, that you have said, if you do the if, then you'll get to the then. And so we do this in our hearts. We, we come to you in prayer, and we make our, our supplication, our request. And this is our request, God that you protect us, Chapel Hill, that you protect the people of Chapel Hill uh, from this coronavirus, from this virus that threatens us. Um, we remember Psalm 91 where it says, a thousand will fall at your left hand and a 10,000 at your right, but it will not come near you. And, and these are the, and I think it was Keith Buckman who read that for us. And we, we hold fast to that, making our supplication that you protect us from this virus. Keep us safe, keep your people safe. Keep, the, keep your people strong. This is our humble prayer in Jesus' name. And keep your, we pray this prayer, extend it to the community, Father. Pray for Henderson and Henderson County, that the people here would be protected. We feel like they're, they're ours to watch over. And so we pray for them, Lord, that you would protect them and keep them safe. And we're careful to follow your prescription, uh, not only to, to go to your prayer and make supplication, we also give thanks. We thank you ahead of time that you're going to do something marvelous in the life of your church. You're going to keep us safe. You're our Heavenly Father. We look to you with joy in our eyes, knowing that full well that you will take care of us. And we uh, thank you for taking care of us and the community that surrounds us. So we make this our prayer in Jesus' name, and we thank you in advance for what you're going to do. And our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Chapel Hill. We'll see you soon.